Hey, we are sitting in a Cessna Citation XLS private jet trip from Nassau, Bahamas to Punta Cana, Dominican Republic. I just spoke this morning to about 150, 160 insurance agents uh, for a group there that had a trip in the Bahamas. Unbelievable uh, time, had an unbelievable event. Now, sitting on doing a, a, a private jet, doing a jet charter from Bahamas to Dominican because I got to be at another event that I'm speaking at and helping host in the Dominican Republic. Um, just left Western Marketing in the Finkins. Now I'm going to hang out with Roger Short and Power Producers. Coach Bird will be there as well. Uh, and so I'm like, I can tell you that you want to get your business and your company in a position to do stuff like this, okay? So these last few days have been incredible. Uh, that's just why I love events and traveling is there's no better place for me to think about ideas um, and, 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 and start accepting responsibility and doing some big stuff than on uh, a plane, even more on a private plane because uh, my wife looked at me when we took off and she's like, hey, we, we gotta figure out a way uh, to keep doing more of this, you know, and, and, and why? Because it's freaking incredible. That's exactly right. Uh, everybody deserves to do this at some point in their life. And everybody truly deserves to get to a point where they can do this more often, right? We're not in a position yet where we can do this all the time. However, every now and then, why not? Okay, why not? Uh, so the reason why we're doing this specifically, private jet, Bahamas to Dominican, after I just got off, off this morning speaking uh, to a bunch of insurance agents on scaling and how details delay and it's time to take action, time to think bigger, know your numbers, like some of those things when it comes to becoming going from a six-figure to a seven-figure insurance agent because I coach a lot of people in the insurance industry specifically, some outside the industry but mostly in it at this point and I coach a lot of individuals that are making two hundred dollars to $600,000 a year and a lot of them are simply doing it all. They're in a position to where they're not delegating they're a control freak. They want to do it all. Uh, they got to have their hands in all the freaking cookie jars and on everything and in everything and doing everything instead of surrounding themselves with a team of people, which is my message this morning. This will my same message when I get to Dominican Republic here in about uh, an hour and 20 minutes. It's a 90, it's a 95 minute flight, hour and 35 minutes. We were supposed to be on a Cessna Citation Mustang uh, and we got upgraded to a Cessna Citation XLS it's bigger, faster. We got like nine seats in this thing, so we should have had you on this with us. Uh, but that's been the message of what I've been preaching these last several years and I've been trying to do myself is to really start to scale and grow and produce and to really take a small company with just me, by the way, and no people and to really scale it to where we've got um, people, processes, products, um, that's more than just me, okay? So as I show you around this thing a little bit, a uh, couple pilots up front, um, unbelievable plane. I can tell you that I'm naturally thinking bigger because everything, everything that we got going on, everything we're trying to do, and I can tell you this, you don't wanna do it alone forever, right? Most people get into business so that one day the business can produce revenue whether they're there or not. Okay, so our companies will probably do, let's just call it um, at least 50 grand today from all the companies, and we will not be there. Okay, I'm sharing that with you because it's the dream of a business owner. Every business owner's dream is to eventually have a company they can fly from Bahamas to Dominican, not be there, and the company runs and produces without them. Now, you need a lot of good people around you for that to be reality. And we're fortunate and lucky to have a lot of incredible, amazing people, as you should too, okay? So as you're scaling, maybe you're not at six figures yet, right? Or maybe you're at six figures and you want to get to seven. Maybe you're at seven and you want to get to eight figures like we have when you take our total company revenue. We'll be in excess of 13, That's and not even including the storage facility we just bought. We'll get, we'll get to over $13 million this year in 2021. And I'm sharing this with you because along the way I've made a lot of mistakes. Um, we've made a lot of mistakes. We don't know it all. We're trying to figure it out. We're trying to scale this thing up. We're trying to really grow and think on a whole nother level and really push and getting exposure to different countries, different trips, 
a charter trip like this as I'm waiting to take ownership of my own private plane. It's not a private jet yet like this, I'm not as big, but my own private plane here in the next week and a half. This gets me thinking, okay, so how do I go from the the, 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 the twin engine turbo, turboprop plane to a big old freaking private jet that seats like 11 people with pilots, right? How do I get to this point? Well, how do I get to that point? And I can tell you that being around stuff like this gets me exposed to if I wanted to travel like this permanently forever, how would I pull it off? Well, we need more revenue, we need more people, and we need more attention, right? Everything that we've done in the last five and a half years has came back to branding, attention, uh, getting in front of more people, getting more people to know us, okay? Because if more people, if people do not know you, it's gonna be hard for them to do business with you. But I'm telling you, the more attention you get, the more you focus on your brand, the more you put out content for free, just like this one, the better everything will get. And so I can tell you that one of the main things that we've done and that we're constantly doing is we're trying to like reinvent ourselves, if you will, is, is we're trying to shed our skin and, and take on a whole new skin as we start to, to grow start to change up what we're doing, we start to try to think about, okay, how do we push the envelope, right? How do we um, get to from, 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 from eight figures to nine figures one day? How do we even get to 20 or 30 or 40 million? Uh, and then what other companies could we add in the near future? So, I mean, for example, like what I'm wanting to do is get our sales team to 50 people because having 50 salespeople means that we would do over a million dollars every month just with two small sales teams if we grew that to 50 people, okay? So, so that's where knowing your numbers really comes in. You also gotta hire up. So we're always asking ourselves, okay, when we're hiring people, do they make our team better, worse, or the same? If they do not make our team better, then we do not hire them, okay? Also, when we're hiring people, we always ask them, our first interview question is, what do you know about our company? And if they don't know anything, the interview is over. That's it. Why? Because they're lazy, they're not as coachable, because they didn't do the research before they came in. Like, ask yourself, would you look me up? If you were coming to interview with me, would you look up my name or my company or something about me? Or would you at least make it up? And you would. I promise you, you would. So, right? And you want people that are, that are maybe not on exactly like you, you want people that are better than you in certain areas of your business, and that's how you start to really scale a company and a business, is by having a lot of amazing people around you that are better than you at certain things, right? Like Dylan is better at video than I am, right? Andy is better at operations, interviews, hiring, etc., than I am, okay? Um, Cassidy, better at events than me, right? Kelly, my assistant, she's better at all the details than I am. Okay, so and, and, and so I can tell you that the more you start thinking about actually surrounding yourself with incredible people, the more this vision, this dream becomes reality and is really possible, right? Because there's this book called Rocket Fuel and it talks about um, the visionary versus the integrator. And I can tell you a majority, as we, as we show off the life of an entrepreneur today, majority of entrepreneurs are visionaries, not integrators, which means if you're the visionary, you're typically not great at both, which means you need the integrator, the implementer, the operational officer around you to make sure everything's full and smooth and to make sure everything's getting implemented like you want, right? My father always said, hey Cody, inspect what you expect, right? Which means I'm gonna inspect to make sure that I'm gonna check in, I'm gonna make sure something was done properly because that's what I expect to happen. But it doesn't mean that I'm gonna have to to, to be involved in every detail along the way. I just want to inspect at the end or have someone in place to inspect it at the end to make sure the idea was implemented and when it got to execution, it was implemented properly, it was executed the way I wanted to do, okay? So uh, I, I remember when I was 10 years old uh, watching my grandfather as a Baptist pastor and I always told myself, I want to be a public speaker, motivational speaker, I want to travel the world speaking one day. I'm 30. And I can tell you that it's an incredible feeling, even though I'm, 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 a, I'm, 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 I'm nowhere close to where I want to be, I'm pushing myself like I never have, I'm nowhere near where I really want to be, because um, I know I've got a lot more in the tank, I know i got a lot more potential, 
I know we got a lot of growth to do, and I'm, I'm, I'm impressed and excited about the journey. However, it is a cool feeling to speak in the Bahamas, jump on a private jet, and go speak in the Dominican Republic for another company at another event. Okay, so I can tell you, whatever dreams you want to happen or can become reality, you need to be thinking about writing down your goals. You need to be thinking about having daily habits that get you better. Right? You need to be thinking about knowing your numbers. That's why we have a monthly P&L on all of our salespeople every month. Okay, so I can tell you that, that, that the moment you start to really think about scaling a company and what that comes with, right? you need people to hire great people, to train great people, you need to have events, Okay, you, you, you need to be uh, uh, recruiting, your sales have to go up, you need to have a coach and a mentor, you need to surround yourself with unbelievable people, you need to be, you need, you need, you need to be branding a company in yourself, you need, be, you need to be marketing you to people in the world. I can tell you the moment all those stars start to align and you really start to push and drive, everything in your world will start to change. And trust me, you deserve to be here just as much as I do. See you on the next one. Hey, if you love this, okay, I can promise you, actually guarantee it, the next one may be better. All right, my first investment, I guess our first investment in real estate is a climate controlled self storage unit. The building's 10,000 square feet. I've got all the numbers and all the details for anybody that ever wants to own a real estate property.